Hello everyone, this is uh, our midday prayer break. I'm Josh, one of the campus missionaries here in Victory Santa Rosa. And allow me to encourage you with the word of God from Proverbs 22 verse 9. It says there, whoever, is, whoever has a bountiful eye will be blessed, for he shares his bread with the poor. This week, I was able to go to Metro Manila. Dumaan ako sa NLEX and ah, dumaan ako sa SLEX and then Skyway, NLEX. Wala namang masyadong checkpoint kasi uh, dumating kasi yung friend ko na kailangan niya ng trans, pang transpo. Kasi ang hirap ngayon, wala nang bumabiyahe. So, I was able to serve him for two days. And then, uh, what uh, struck me along the way, bukod sa wala ng traffic, is habang nasa stoplight kami, nakakita ako ng poor beggar. May pulubi doon sa labas. Yung mga street children, then nakahiga lang sila sa sahig. Tapos yung kaibigan ko sa likod, sabi niya, paano kaya sila, no? Paano kaya yung situations nila ngayon? Katulad ng, tulad niya, meron tayong meron COVID-19. Are they aware na may virus? Tapos, narealize ko, oh, nga, no? No one can tell them to go home because literally they don't have homes. Outside is their homes. So I never thought of praying for them. Hindi ko naisip na ipag-pray sila. Pero nung nakita ko sila, nakita ko yung situations nila, how hopeless are their situation, how helpless they are. They're prone to virus any any time pwede nilang ma makuha yung virus because nasa labas lang sila. When I was, when I realized, when I saw the situations they have, I realized that we need to pray for them. We need to pray for these people. The point is, in this verse, whoever has a bountiful eye, whoever has a generous eye, in other translation, is sensitive to the needs of this world. The point is, we need to have an eyes to see the needs of this world. There's so much need in this world and how we can be of help to these people. We can pray for them. In your community, in our barangays, in your neighborhood, ano ba yung need? You can ask yourself, ano kaya yung need dito sa barangay namin? Ano kaya yung need natin dito sa neighborhood natin? We have to pray to God to give us the bond, to give, to give us that generous eyes. Because it says there, whoever is generous will be, whoever has a bountiful eye will be blessed for he shares food with the poor. He shares bread with the poor. Before he was able, that man, he was able to share the food. He was able to see. So let us all be sensitive to the needs of this world. Let us all see what's the need in our communities. So two things I want to share. How can, how, how we can bless how we can be a blessing to this world. First is we bless this world with physical needs. Anything, clothing, food, uh, face mask, if you have, you can bless other people with that. Alcohol, if you have that, anything na pang disinfect. Any physical needs, we can bless other people. Pero lockdown ngayon, may paano tayo, we can be creative. As we pray to God to have a bountiful eye, we can be creative in how we can give to other people. Kanina umaga may dumating na uh, garbage collector and, and naisip ko, no, pa, paano kaya natin sila mabibless? Sabi ko kay Arian, paano anong pwede natin ibigay sa kanila? So we look around in our homes and may nakita akong monay, apat na monay, sakto, apat sila. So, ang ginawa namin, sinamahan na rin namin ng palaman para mas masarap yung kainan nila. So, the point is, everyone has something to give. You have something to give. We just have to be sensitive. We just have to have that bountiful eyes to see the needs of the world. Sabi nga ni Pastor Joe, the world demands service. We need to learn how to serve. You can serve. We can serve other people. We just need to know how. We just need to see with our own eyes. That's the, that's, that's the first point. That's, that's first. Second is how we can become a blessing to other people. We share the bread of life to them. 
We share who Jesus Christ is. We share the gospel to them. We share the word of God. To them. We continue to pray for them. This is the perfect time to preach the word to them, to encourage them to put their hope to the eternal God, that we have an eternal life, that this life that we have here is a temporary life, that as much as we as we are concerned with our mortal bodies, nag-groceries tayo, nag tayo ng because we are concerned for our own needs, we should be also concerned for our soul. And Jesus Christ is the lover of our soul. He takes care. He is the shepherd of our soul. This is the perfect time to preach the word, to read the word of God. We all know that the word of God is enduring. It endures forever. This virus will pass, will, will, will come to pass. Everything will come to pass, but the word of God will still remain the same. We are to preach. How we can be a blessing? We preach the bread of life. We preach who is the bread of life? Jesus Christ. I remember in, in our uh, church history, Polycarp, disciple of Sani John, is a disciple of John. When he was about to die, pinaparenounce yung faith kasi niya, pinaparenounce nung, uh, nung emperor, renounce your faith, deny your faith, okay? deny God, renounce your faith. And he replied, sabi niya, for 80 and 6 years I have served him and he has done me no wrong. How can I blaspheme him, my faithful God? You threaten me with fire and with spear, but you're not even aware of the eternal fire that can consume the soul. So Polycarp was, was saying that he cannot be threatened with these mortal things, with these physical things, because he knows the, take, the, the lover of his soul, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> We are to preach to the people who Jesus Christ is. That Jesus Christ will take care of them. Not just their physical needs, but even the eternal needs that, that, that they need to have. The eternal mindset in this life. I, I encourage everyone to see everything in, in, in what, what's happening today. To see everything in a godly perspective. To see everything with an eternal mindset. Let's continue to read the word of God. Let's continue to go deeper. He is the lover of our soul. He is the bread of life. So two things we want to bless, how we can bless the world. We bless them with physical needs. Second is we bless them with spiritual needs. We, we preach them the bread. Who is the bread of life? We preach them Jesus, who is Jesus Christ. So that's the whole uh Point of Proverbs 22, verse 9. Whoever is bountiful, whoever has a bountiful eye, whoever has a generous eye, will share, will be blessed, for he shares his food or his bread with the poor. Let's all pray. Lord, we pray, God, that you will give the cure to COVID-19. I pray, God, for the wisdom to be upon our medical practitioners. I pray that they would be able to receive your wisdom and they would be able to release the vaccine. Thank you, Lord, that as we wait for this, we will trust you. We will trust your timing. You are doing something. You're doing something else, Lord, and I pray that our eyes would be able to see those things. I also pray, God, to faith for faith to arise among God's people. I pray that this time would be maximized in seeking you, Lord, in, in praying, in reading your word, in sharing your word, ministering to other people. I pray that this nation will be a prayerful nation because our faith will arise amidst all this, Lord. Thank you, God, for uh, the healing um, uh, to those who are infected by the virus. And I also pray for protection for everyone else, protection for their families. I pray that you give them peace and security, Lord. And those who people who are uh, uh, frontliners, the medical practitioners, Lord, I pray that you also protect them. Give them strength every day. As they wake up in the morning, I pray that you renew their strength because they're serving. Or some of them are not even sleeping. night shift. I pray that you renew their strength, Lord. I pray that uh, these people are your frontliners. These people are your warriors, Lord. 
I, I also pray for order in our nation, Lord. At this hour of crisis, I pray that there will be peace, God, uh, within the people, within the community, within the cities, Lord. I pray that the people will just be obedient and, and comply to the government. This is for the protection of everyone. So I pray, God, that we will obey. I pray for peace and order in our nation. Blessed are those who make peace, as you said in your word, Lord. I also pray for a spirit of intercession upon our church. I pray that we will be uh, more intentional. We will earnestly pray to you as we earnestly pray, pray for the Lord of Harvest. Lord, we will earnestly pray to you amidst all of these things, concerning all of these things. I pray that we will not be anxious, but we will pray for everything. We will present our petitions to you, O oh God. God, you are sovereign. The stars erupted in praise. The, 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 the creation sings of your glory. You are great. You are mighty. We pray that, that we will be able to see you as a great God. You are great and you are sovereign. Help us, Lord, to be a blessing to our communities. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you have more prayer requests, you can uh, message us. You can send your prayer requests. We would love to pray for you. And that's it for our midday prayer break. See you again tomorrow. God bless.